Hi folks, I'm here in Wasilla off of Manuska Road near Walmart in an old uh, storage yard and uh, we're going to take a look at this trailer here. And how is this trailer railroad related? Was it owned by Alaska Railroad or how is this railroad related? Well, for those that um, are into railroads and maybe into older stuff, you might recognize that this is actually the lower portion of a tank car. Yes, this is um, indeed a semi-dump trailer, big dump truck trailer, that was built from a tank car. And this is a, um, I believe it's a 1917 design, or it was a 1917 design from General American Tank Car Company. Um, and what's interesting about this is this was a, a USATC tank car, United States Army Transportation Corps tank car. And back in the day, there were railway operating battalions, um, and the Army had their own trains, if you will. Um, and in Alaska, they had a lot of tank cars, and the tank cars carried fuel and other petroleum products uh, between the bases and other military installations between Seward and Fairbanks. So as we walk over here, there is some of the lettering. And over here is the bottom part of the insignia used by the uh, Army Transportation Corps. And there are some, um, uh, there's some other information right there with the data sheets. And I see a uh, 740, so a July of 1940, um, old tank car. Now, I knew that Alaska Railroad scrapped and got rid of a bunch of their old, um, their old style tank cars. They had 1917 and they had 1955. Uh, some of the tank cars that you might see in private ownership or parts of them were actually uh, 1955. But there was uh, 1955 and 1917 design all over. And it's just interesting to see that it's a uh, transportation corps. So from what I was told by uh, a gentleman, a friend of mine who's been around here for many years and knows Alaska Railroad history, um, apparently there were uh, a lot of these trailers that were made from tank cars it is actually common um, though he has not seen um, army transportation tank cars converted into these trailers but uh, here is one and you can see the inside of it um, that's the inside of a tank car Apparently, 1970s, 1980s, these were all over the place. And you can see, um, or at least I can see the registration is 00. So last time this was legally used was in 2000, or I should say registered. So it's pretty interesting to see this um, trailer made from a tank car. And whoever did the conversion... They actually did a really good job of it because um, I've driven by here numerous times and I've not noticed that this was a tank car. Last week I drove by and I just happened to look at it a little bit closer and I saw that those, uh, those lettering marks right there and that, the core. So I knew what this was and I had to get pictures and all that and it's pretty neat. So... It's not quite Alaska Railroad, but it is Alaska enough. That just shows how we uh, do things in Alaska, folks. We take things that are old and worn out, and we refurbish them and turn them into something totally different. So for those that uh, are modelers, if you are like, say, me, and you model HO scale, you can easily take that old Athern tank car that you just don't know what to do with, and you can turn this, you can turn that kit into this. All right, folks, have a great weekend. Thanks for watching.